everyone. Welcome back to Clutch Situation. We are celebrating 6,000 subscribers on the channel. Yay! Who would have thunk? If you had asked me a couple years ago if I thought that this channel would ever get to 6,000 subscribers, I would have looked at you quizzically because, uh, you know, from my perspective, all I'm really doing here is sharing something that I love with people. Uh, you know, for viewers in the audience, you probably notice that I don't spend a lot of time editing. In fact, I spend zero time editing. I do my videos all in one take. And part of the reason for that is that I just want this to be a creative outlet for me. I just want to share aspects of my hobby with people online. Line. Um, I spend a lot of time working within my profession and I didn't want to spend a lot of time doing this. But despite that fact, uh, I'm sort of bucking what everybody expects with YouTube that you need high production values in order to be uh, successful and to reach an audience. And I, I think that this channel is evidence that you don't need to do that if you're just willing to share something that people can enjoy and share and love. Now, many of you who are followers of Clutch Situation have probably noticed that I'm using a fountain pen here. And you may be saying to yourselves, hold on a second, isn't this a mechanical pencil channel. Well, of course, while mechanical pencils dominate what I do here on the channel, that doesn't mean that I haven't explored other aspects of EDC everyday carry. And fountain pens would be an example of something that I've gotten into the last year. And this particular fountain pen this is a Pilot Metropolitan. I'm showing in this video because it is related to the mechanical pencil that I want to show you for 6,000 subs today. This Pilot Metropolitan was gifted to me by a loyal viewer of the channel. David Buckheiser is also a patron. If you wanted to head on over to patreon.com slash clutch situation and become a patron. My patrons are getting this video 24 hours before everybody else does. Uh, if you're also interested, the ink that I'm using in this Pilot Metropolitan is uh, just standard Pilot Blue Black, uh, which was sent to me by David. And you know, it's a handsome ink is the way that I would describe it. But let's get into the actual mechanical pencil here. So I'm gonna go ahead and cap the Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen and let's see what we got here in the box. now. I didn't discover that the Pilot Metropolitan had a mechanical pencil until I was messing around looking for mechanical pencils on stores, uh, online stores, and I noticed that, wait, hold on a second, the Metropolitan has a mechanical pencil variant? Here's the reason why I didn't realize this. So this comes with this nice little fold out here that sort of gives you some details on Pilot products, uh, Metropolitan fountain pen, ballpoint, gel roller, and mechanical pencil. If you wanted to pause the video and just sort of check out some of these instructions, like if you wanted like a basic primer on how fountain pens work and how to maintain them, if you need some help with use of a mechanical pencil, go ahead and pause it and check that out. But the main reason why I'm showing you this is because this is why I got confused. The Pilot Metropolitan actually comes in three collections, and they're displayed here on this little foldout. The standard collection, which comes in gloss black, gold, zigzag, and silver dot. Notice how it only comes in these three variations, a fountain pen, a gel roller, and a ballpoint. And then the Pilot Retro Pop collection, which is what I have here. David had sent me the houndstooth variant of the Pilot Metropolitan Retro Pop collection. It also comes in wave, marble, flower, ellipse, and dot. And one thing to point out here is that they all have similar styling where there is a band in the middle of the writing instrument that is patterned in some way, and then the rest of the writing utensil is a solid color. So for example, marble is a uh, sort of a lime green. Uh, flower is an orange writing instrument. Well, one thing that I didn't realize is that the animal collection here in the center comes with a 0.5 millimeter pencil, and that's what I want to show you today. I purchased the crocodile. It also comes in leopard, which is violet for the rest of the body, lizard, which is it's called taupe, but for those of you who do not speak hyper specific color, it's a goldish color, python is silver bodied and tiger is white. And of course, these are all patterned after the patterns of hide or fur of particular animals. So let's go ahead and get into the actual pencil. This is the Pilot Metropolitan in Black Crocodile. I tend not to like patterning on my writing utensils unless it is understated. And so part of the reason why I went with the Black Crocodile here is because it is subtle. I don't mind a little patterning, but I don't want it to dominate the whole writing utensil. So this is the Pilot Metropolitan. 
This is the animal collection. And specifically, this is black crocodile. Let's go with first impressions. First impressions, it's a well-built writing instrument. It feels well-built in addition to looking well-built. And I'm going to run down my standard ratings here. Like, we'll talk about writing experience. We'll talk about quality. We'll talk about features, etc. But that's the big thing that stood out to me when I got this in hand, is that it feels like a high-quality writing instrument. And it is styled a little bit differently than one might expect on first glance. Okay, so you look at this and you may be saying to yourself, kind of reminds me of a Pentel Sharp Carry. Does the cap come off and cap on the other end to make it pocket safe? No. It's really just for an overall impression while you are writing for it. It looks like more of a classic writing instrument. So if I were to uncap the fountain pen and post it, like this, okay, classic writing instrument, posted writing instrument. This is designed to evoke that sort of styling. But when you take off the cap, and it is friction held, by the way, okay, you can see that it just displays the mechanism with a small little pilot eraser and the lead feed, the lead holding storage tube is right here. Uh, in addition, if I unscrew it in terms of overall quality, whoops. It's coming apart on me. There we go. Brass clutch. Really fine threads, well-machined threads. Quality is very good on this pencil. So let's reassemble it. We'll do a quick click test. See how it performs. Pilot mechanisms generally perform really well, especially on their higher-end writing instruments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's looking like some pretty fine control, about five, six millimeters comparable to a Pentel Sharp Mechanism, the industry standard. So, writing experience. Well, actually, I want to skip ahead to quality. Let's just do the best thing first. For quality, I'm going to go great plus. This is styled as well as a Pentel Sharp Carry with even better components. And I think that that's a huge compliment. Um, cost, moderate. Okay. We are at 1850 USD, which is a really good price for what you're getting here. This is a really good value piece. Yeah, it's a more expensive mechanical pencil, but if you are looking to make a statement with style, this is the way to go. Okay. Oh, I do want to point out here that this may look familiar to you to the Pilot Cocoon. The Pilot Cocoon is a Japanese variant of the Pilot Metropolitan, is my understanding. So if, for example, you go to Jet Pens and search for Pilot Cocoon, it's a similarly styled pencil, and I'm pretty sure that the internals are probably identical, and the externals aren't that different. Those Cocoon pencils all come with just a silver ring and then a solid color body design. The Pilot Cocoon comes in blue, orange, silver, titanium, black, Bordeaux, and white. So quite a few colors to choose from. So I know, for example, some people in the audience have been looking out for uh, orange mechanical pencils. The Pilot Cocoon comes in orange, and that might be a good pickup for you. Okay, Writing experience. It's a little weighty for my tastes. Okay. I'm going to go with OK+. Plus. It's also more of a fat-bodied mechanical pencil. There's no knurling. It's just a, a pretty much a straight-up smooth metal grip. And so I'm going to go with OK Plus on it. Certainly not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Features, it's also fairly bare bones. You could argue that one of the things that takes away from its features is that you've got to take off this cap and expose kind of the ugly-looking internals to get to the eraser and to replace lead. Okay, if you're looking to make a style statement and you're writing away and people will be like, ooh, what's that writing utensil that you use? And then you got to erase something and you take the cap off and it's like, oh, well, that doesn't look very good, you know? Um, but, you know, to each their own, that's just my perspective on it. So let's run down some pros and cons. So as I see it, the pros is it's got this really strong construction. It's got a brass clutch. It's got a strong pocket clip. You're not going to lose this thing. Anything that you clip it to, it's going to stay connected to that really well. It's also worth mentioning here, I think, that this is quasi-pocket safe. Even though you can't take the cap out and put it on the end where the lead sleeve is, it's a conical lead sleeve. It's not going to damage your pocket. 
very under very rare conditions would it damage your pocket. Cons, well, I think the cap mechanism, while interesting, is a little bit weird, kind of detracts from the styling that you'd have to take it apart in order to access the eraser. I'm not as big of a fan of the thick body or the hefty weight, but you know, some people might be interested in that. And so this is a really good pencil. I have zero regrets for getting it. I'm going to see myself using this over and over and over again, especially in situations where I want to have like a classier looking writing instrument. Like if I'm in an important meeting, you know, I'm going to choose this over a more utilitarian drafting style pencil. Okay. Cause it's going to, you know, maybe communicate to the audience. Oh, he's serious, you know? Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Pilot Metropolitan. This is the animal collection in Black Crocodile, and it comes in a variety of other options as well, as viewed here on this little fold-out that came with it. Comes in a nice case that you can store it in. And uh, yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching the channel. 6,000 subs. Wow, I literally can't even. Uh, I never would have predicted that this would have been the case, but hey, if we're sharing a hobby we all love, nobody can take that away from us. Just remember that, okay? Ignore the haters out there, okay? There are, pe there are people who will post periodically, oh, who cares about mechanical pencils? Well, you know what? Teach their own. Uh, everybody is, has an opportunity uh, to celebrate whatever it is they love, and YouTube is a great platform specifically for uh, niche hobbies, to, to uh, communicate with each other and share what they like. And so, folks, thanks so much for subscribing. You know, like and consider hitting that bell as well. Uh, consider backing me on Patreon if you enjoy what I do here. But I'm going to keep coming at you with more mechanical pencil and other EDC-related videos. I'm going to continue to explore my fountain pen hobby. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.